Hello and welcome to Dragon Tavern reviewing. Oh my god, why are we still doing these? The D and D no. cartoon from the eighties. We're doing them because we have to kind of complete them all because we've kind of we're, gone we're, too far. We're, we're too far in this. We're deep now. We have to just finish this thing. It's we're too insane. too far. We've got like twenty eight episodes, I think. Oh really? And we're at episode ten. Oh for fuck! I, I thought uh, it was I've like got the Garden of Zin. I thought it was like a thirteen episode thing. I didn't realize no. it was like. I mean, oh. we nearly got the first season done. Oh my god, they made... Who, three seasons. Who paid for season two and three? Probably the producers. I'm going to find them and write them a very angry letter. Why? Because we ended have to like, watch them all. It ended ages ago. We don't have to technically watch them all. I actually quite enjoy watching them. Yeah, I know you do. You're just over-dramatizing <laughs> for the sake of comedy. I don't know, comedy. It was entertainment. I wouldn't say comedy. I'd say entertainment. Anyway, this is called The Garden Zen. So what we're going to do is go through them the best way possible. Call out all the weird stuff that we see in this show. Which was the entire episode. So, um, yeah, well, it's pretty much it. So it starts off in a mushroom forest. Yeah. Uh, and they're chasing a dragon to eat, or a humanoid dragon thing to eat. Basically, so to keep in mind, cannibal. these kids have got to hunt down an animal, skin it, and eat it. Yeah. So they've essentially gone from living in the modern con world where they can go to Starbucks and then Subway and they have to fend for themselves and are literally hunting animals to kill to eat. Yes. Yeah, so do you think they would eat uni if they had to? Probably. Yeah, they uh, probably would. He doesn't do. He hasn't done anything useful since episode fucking three. Yeah, since it learned to teleport, but never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so essentially, the kids are engaging in uh, murder of uh, defenseless animals for their own for their own purposes, which you know is is how, how, what do they say? Like deprive a society of three meals and you have complete chaos. How long did know, it take yeah. them to go from like just being kids to being like these wild ten episodes apparently? Ten episodes. <laughs> ten episodes. Days. Um, so they decide because like after the little dragon thing runs away, they decide to start fishing. Because apparently they, fish, they have a fishing pole, and then they fish up a dragon turtle. Yeah, or a, dra- a, a dragon turtle. I think that's what they call it. Yeah. So this, this giant like thing comes out of the water, and the acrobat does the first useful thing she's done in ten episodes, and she throws her stick in the mouth of the creature. But you know what? That doesn't make sense. Okay, during this like a little battle skirmish they have with this giant dragon turtle, um, Bobby gets bitten and gets poisoned. That's yeah. kind of the key to this whole episode. Yeah. But Bobby beats him back with what? Water. He came out of water. Yeah. He gets beaten back by water. It doesn't make any, any it, sense. It also doesn't make sense in the fact that he created a massive wave by hitting it with his club. Yes, that's not how things work. <laughs> and the acrobat was like, oh, look, I got it solved, and threw the stick in its mouth, and then the thing just bit the stick in half. And I was like, well, you were nearly useful there. Acrobat. Yeah. You're this close to actually contributing so, so Bobby gets poisoned, yep. um, and now they have to find um, the the yellow dragon to actually as a, a bit of a cure. Yeah, I think so the dragon's called yellow the dragon's, dragon. Yeah, the yellow dragon's foot. Yeah. So apparently, um, and again, DM shows up. Uh, the, the DM shows up after the fact. So basically, he's letting these kids fend for themselves. Yep. Kill. Yeah. I, I could. I'm a magic person. I could uh, conjure good berries, but no, you got to hunt shit for yourself I, I like it the, the dungeon mouse is all good with fiery laser beams and telling them where to go and all that but he's willing to let a kid die just to be funny yeah he shows up like after cryptic. the fact it's like oh by the way you can totally just cure that just go and get the yellow, the yellow dragon foot and but, like, but he's so vague he doesn't say oh it's a plant so you guys don't need to worry no you don't need to fight a yellow dragon it's okay just find this plant but instead he, he kind of is vague about it and possibly lets an 8 year old die anyway after that happens uh, we meet Queen Zin uh, yes, because she apparently is where the dragon is, with the yellow thing. Yeah, so, so the, the queen is the point. queen of. It doesn't really elaborate what she's the queen of. Yeah, like she's, she's in a castle and, and she's the queen. She's got these weird grey like creature things. Called stalkers. Go, they're, stalk- they're actually called. I wrote this down because I did research. I phantom that. stalkers. But, so she's got these phantom like, weird. I'm just going to say weird grey things because that's what they are. The phantom um, stalkers. And she's kind of built herself like a little kingdom based on these weird little things that kind of worship her and mm. do what she says. Um, very much like Mila Kunis. Um, so essentially what happens is she says, I need to find a king uh, mm. through the trial. It has to be someone that succeeds. The trial of the worm. And I was like, could you come up with a less intimidating name for a trial? Are you really shocked? We're literally finding the yellow dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not looking for fancy names here. But she says she her the, the king has arrived and you immediately go, oh, it's part of the group. But then you realize the group's, uh, what, they're less than eight, 18 years old. Yeah. And she's what in a th- obviously like above in her thirties. Slight creepy vibe. Yeah. Because uh, the, the kids, what they were at an amusement park, so they must be like what thirteen at the oldest. Hey, I would go to an amusement park. I know, Dave. That's an issue for another another day. It's not an issue. Um, like grown ups can enjoy amusement parks too. I wrote down this whole episode so far. Seems like people are in the forest eating mushrooms because basically they have this really weird trip. 
and there's the one person who's kind of sane, and that's that that grey dude. And then Dungeon Master shows up, and he's kind of like oh, uh, the, the grey dude, Sir Lars. Yeah, he shows up. Yeah. And then DM to me seemed like that, like that, like the seventy year old dude who's been doing this his entire life, like watching the young people trip out, and like he's the one that's like providing like the the, the guidance. Yeah. yeah, like the the orange juice and the cushion. So so this bit doesn't make sense. So they f- f- um, Eric finds some food, a bag of food. Yeah. And he's like, oh look, I've I got this food that's just randomly standing there. Then Sir Lars comes out of the shadows, like, hey, that's my food and then um he starts attacking eric then the party comes up and they're like it's about to attack sir yeah. lars but a lot sir lars is like oh he was stealing my food yeah, he's like don't shoot I'm, i mean you no harm he literally says i mean you know yeah harm. but to be fair uh, there was no label where the food was it was no. just sitting there so i get eric's thing and then what does sir lars do he just gives him the food anyway and then also once this guy goes i mean you no harm I, you know i was just doing this Eric goes, he's lying, kill him. And I'm like, dude. Yeah, that's a bit extreme. You try, you try to steal Eric this loses dude. some points there. I was like, but I was like, before. You're perfectly fine with murdering this guy because you st- you want his baguette, basically. Yeah. Um, so they find out from Salaz where um, the garden of Zin is. Um, and then they go through the Valley of Smoke. Um, yeah. the, the, Again, Bobby, this is just Bobby stays behind with his sister or whatever her name is. The because thief. she's sick, yeah. The, the, yeah. the Cassandra, whatever the fucking name is. I don't is. think it's Cassandra. No, I think Cassandra is the. I don't the, the, the acrobat. They split the party. We well, think we should learn their names after ten episodes. Well, actually, I remember Bobby. I remember Eric. I remember because I think Cassie. Or well, Cassandra, my first, my first I note she, is I just knew who Bobby. Sheila. Was. That's right. That's Her right. name's Sheila. So she hangs back with Bobby. Always split the party. Best, yeah. best idea. Um, and then yeah, essentially, essentially DM shows up. And it's it, well, they're in the Valley of Smoke. Now. Yeah, they're in the Valley of Smoke again. References to what was going on in the seventies and eighties. Mm. Um, and essentially, DM shows up, and Eric goes, "That's that's not the DM. He's not being weird." And no, vague. That, that that was um, and uh, it wasn't Eric. It was a leader dude, Hank. Hank, I remember really? the name. Yeah. I thought it was Eric. No, no, Eric. Oh, Hank whispers to Eric, "Don't you think something's up?" There? Right, and then Eric's like, "Yeah, because he's DM's, not talking riddles, but yeah, he's not being vague and pointless and annoying, so that can't be him." <laughs> um, and then he's like, "Yeah, no, you're right." And then the real DM shows up, and then they fight. So, well, the real DM. It turns out it's not the real DM as well. Makes... It's just two shadow guys just being fake DMs. So why were, a why were they fighting, and b why were they both pretending to be the DM? Well, it would make sense if yeah, another DM after they kind of found out that one DM was the fake one if it, the, another one came along you're more right. likely to believe that the second one was actually the, the, the correct one so it's actually pretty smart it's hallucinations is what it is and this whole episode like we should do this episode where we're on mushrooms I really It'd be amazing. don't want to do that it don't do not. drugs people don't no you'll but end up good, no. but don't but don't is the lesson <laughs> here don't, you don't because you'll get pulled but into the ground by tentacles which is what happens to the party next essentially these, yes. these things wrap around vines them. yeah they call them. bad trip essentially the, the tides turn and they get pulled into the earth they all think they're going to die ah they also just survive yeah so they fall into a tunnel and this is apparently this tunnel is where the trial of the worms begins because yeah. there's worms in it and to, to win the trial is you just have to survive it so yeah. a the big, big giant them. worm comes along they ride it and then they survive and they pass the trial worms I've never seen a trial be passed so passively no, no, accidentally just by not really doing much at all yeah, and yet much. this is what has proved now to the queen that these are the ones that she needs so um, essentially they show up uh, and, and the queen Zin is kind of like oh I'm going to marry you and, and Eric's, Eric's like, like sure no I'm not no he goes he goes look I'm not even from this world I'm trying to get the goddamn way home uh, excuse my me. And um, he's like, this dungeon master dude's been messing with us for weeks. And then Queen Zin goes, here's some gold. And he goes, he spins on a fucking dime and goes, okay, I'm going to stay here. And no, no, going. she makes a good point. He's like, why don't you let them go find the exit? Why don't you just chill out here with some gold? And yeah. he's just like, you know what? It's a good and, idea. As soon as the money's mentioned, Eric abandons his entire quest to go home and just suddenly, in the moment, decides, actually, I'll just stay here forever because I'm going to be rich. And right? uh, Yeah, and plus he, he's marrying a, a girl. Yeah. Uh, or she's older attractive. woman she's, quite she, she's actually quite attractive yeah so I don't it, it, I mean that's when we find out teenage me dragon. would probably do it too <laughs> okay if we're talking teenage Ollie and teenage Dave I can understand it yeah, um, yeah. we found out that the yellow dragon is a berry of a plant so mm. they get that and that's fine mm. uh, Eric starts to say one person who wants to leave the most then I just started mashing the keyboard and, and then the queen's of kind of overhears that the Sir Lars was the one that told them where it is yeah um, so the rest of the party go back Eric gets ma- or about to get married to Queen Zim. Yeah. Um, as the other party travels back, those phantom stalkers try and stop them um, because apparently um, uh, this bit is weird. It doesn't yeah. really make sense why Queen Zim 
didn't want them to return I've to I've honestly him. abandoned trying to make sense of these episodes. See, that, that bit didn't really make sense. And why did the Queen want to stop the party going back to them? I'd just also like to point out that when Sir Lawrence does show up finally after being turned back from mm. the weird grey thing, he's not wearing pants. He's in his underpants. He's got everything else Kings on. Kings don't wear pants. He's wearing, like, boots. Uh, he took the time to put boots on. Yeah. Surely, spend three seconds to throw Those on. boots were made for walking. Uh, that's, that's just, just what, what they, they do. do. But I honestly think pants, thank you, but pants before boots would be a good option. Nah. Uh, I don't, mean to, I don't, I don't mean think you're doing shame. pants right. I like pants. I don't like... Um, but yeah, the, the king turns back um, because the tears of Sheila or something like that... Someone um, cries on him. Apparently. It doesn't really uh, like That's yeah. The magic cure. It, it's just and then because how the spell works um, is if he turns back the per- the person who put the 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 spell on turns into the thing. Yeah. So Queen Zim um, turns. So into... Queen Zim was Sir Laws Alaz's sister. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. So it was sister. And so when it was reverted. Um, he he reverts back to human. She reverts to the grey thing. Yeah. It's at that point that Eric looks at her and goes, "Oh, you, you're a grey thing now. I'm out," and leaves. And I'm like, "Dude, that's the so goddamn shallow." Like, it you was. Were, you but were then again, to marry the, this the woman. whole marriage was a sham to begin with. So I mean, it's to be fair, it, it doesn't marriage, set a high bar. It was a marriage based on bribery uh, and yep. and flashiness. And, um, I don't mean to demean Donald and Trump. And then at the but... end, um, with the DM, uh, Eric questions if the DM's real, and, and and the DM just turns into turns him into a baboon, um, which you think if the DM has the ability to turn someone into a baboon, he has the ability to cure poison in, a, in an eight-year-old kid. But no, instead he likes to show up after the fact, then on a wild goose chase. It's like those millionaires that could save world hunger, but they're just like... Yeah, yeah, I'd rather buy I'd, a baboon. <laughs> I'd quite like a TV that comes out of the floor. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not do that. Yeah. How just... about you do you guys do the poison thing and solve all the world hunger, and I'll just I'll go ahead. I'll out. be turning people to baboons. Yeah, just a little bit of baboon too. Yeah. So that's it. That's the episode. Uh, yeah. I lost the will to live during this. We um, lose the will to live every time we do it, but I mean it's it's still a lot of fun. Just sometimes it's just the logic. Just I don't like. To be fair, what I think... were they on? I've seen that seventy show. Yeah, and I know they were taking a lot of drugs back at, back in the seventies, but yeah. I didn't realize the eighties continued that. Well, see, the weird thing is, surely at some point after the people out of their minds wrote these scripts, there had to be some kind of meeting with an executive who wasn't on drugs. Oh, How come did on. that person? They're all on cocaine, <laughs> so everyone is out of them. Okay, well that does make sense because yeah, I, I cannot executives see... were all about that how this show managed to exist because surely at some point an intern or something pouring coffee might nah. have just been like maybe we shouldn't nah. make a show about baboons and fucking grey things that make no sense no no yeah. we're just going with it uh, apparently we're just going with it that's yeah. cool hey can't so thanks you everyone to, for, for watching our journey through this episode I'm about to burp and I'm trying to get Ollie to talk so, so thank you guys very much for joining us on another one of these Weird trips down memory lane. Sort um, of. Kind um, of. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us some love because if you give us more love, we'll make more of them. And if you didn't like this at all, well, don't, don't then. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about the thoughts that just came into my head when you say give us some love and we'll make more of these. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Watch our podcast if you want more information about that. <laughs> oh, please don't. That was the weirdest podcast we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, um, right. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. And hey, please just. Let's stop doing these videos. Just no one. If ones. we get underneath, let's make a call. If we get okay. above forty views, yeah, we have to do. We'll make one. another one. Okay, so you can save Ollie and Dave by, by deviewing this video. I don't know how that works. Hacking into the YouTube servers yeah. and deleting your. Yeah, but anyway, see you guys.